Hey guys, I'm here to do a, a book review on Wrecked by E.R. Frank. I just finished this book. It was it was a pretty good book. It kind of reminded me of Hate You, Mi Love You, Hate You, Miss You by Elizabeth Scott, except the girl in here um, did not kill her best friend, and she is not writing a letter to her best friend, but similar circumstances, a car accident, someone died, um, and then just trying to deal with it. So... It has 247 pages. The text is this big. So it's really quick and easy to read. Um, I'm going to read the back to you. It says, Dear anyone who cared about Cameron, I was the driver of the other car. The police and my mother and my father and plenty of people are saying that I didn't kill her. But I know I did. That's what her parents must believe. And my brother Jack. He always sees what's true. I want to tell him how sorry I am about the accident. I want to say a lot of things to him and to everybody. Like how Cameron was smart and beautiful and kind in a way that isn't all that common in high school. Like how much Jack loved her and how sometimes I can hear him crying through the wall at night. I want to say how bad everything can get. In one split second. Upside down and shattered. Just like that. So this is about a girl. She, um goes to a party with her best friend and her best friend is drunk so she drives them home and on the way home she gets into a, they get into a car accident they don't tell you what happens then they don't tell you what happens like how the car accident happens right at the point of it happening but she ends up hitting another car and the driver of that other car dies that driver of the other car is her brother's girlfriend so um, emotions are kind of running high there too um, the girl that ends up um, getting in the accident Anna the one that was driving she doesn't get hurt real bad um, but her best friend who is also in the accident her name's Ellen she um, ends up with broken ribs um, a collapsed lung, a broken leg, um, forgot what else. So it takes her months to get better. Um, so through this whole book, Anna's trying to deal. Her family's trying to deal. And, um, it's just basically, she kind of goes back, um, and remembers things from her past. Um, a lot of it has to do with, um, her relationship with her brother and her relationship with her father. Um, her and her brother were close when they were little, and then, of course, as they started to grow up, they started to drift apart. Well, then when her brother started dating Cameron, Cameron brought them back together, so they were kind of close again. And now that Cameron's, Cameron has died, um, her brother doesn't really talk to her, you know, he's, he's upset, he's sad, you know, and, um, so she's, she keeps having flashbacks to times when they did stuff together. Um, and then her dad... Her dad's always very controlling, uh, yells a lot, and she has a lot of flashbacks to that, too. She thinks he's just a jerk, he's an asshole, she says, you know, and she can't believe that her mom lets him act that way and talk that way and that, and I think that that, a lot of that hinders her recovery, too, um, but after the accident, her father is like a different person. Her father is very caring, he's there for her, um, you know, he just seems like a different person, but she still has flashbacks stuff and before she left that night to that party she got in a real bad argument with her father so um she ends up going into therapy towards the end because she starts she um continues to have really bad nightmares i mean where she wakes up soaking wet and just you know and she gets real bad anxiety attacks she can't drive and you know just all this stuff so they think the best thing is for her to go into therapy so she goes into therapy and they tell her about you know different sessions that she while well, she's in therapy um, and she does get better, um, but yeah, it's, um, doesn't touch too much on Cameron, how Cameron died, it really doesn't touch too much on that, it's basically, um, how Anna deals with it, and how her brother and her family is, are dealing with it, um, it doesn't really touch too much on how Ellen's dealing with it, Ellen's the one that got hurt real bad, that was in the passenger seat, um, Ellen is a part of it, because it's her, she's her best friend, um, but it doesn't really talk about her feelings and stuff like that. This is all through Anna's point of view. So, um, it's a pretty good book. I like it. Um, 
it's a quick read, I think, but it's deep, you know, it's about tragedy, so, um, I would definitely pick it up, I, I got this from Half Price Books, and I forgot how much it was, I think like three something, but you know how I love covers, I would have never picked this up on my own, um, and paid full price or anything like that because of the cover, but I'm glad I got it because it was, I really enjoy the book. And I keep books that I like. I get rid of books that I don't like. And I got rid of Love You, Hate You, Miss You by Elizabeth Scott. And I liked it, but it wasn't all that for me. So I got rid of that one. But I'm keeping Wrecked because I, I did. I liked Wrecked. So I'm keeping Wrecked. So that's my review on that. I would check it out, definitely. Um, and I forgot to show my book haul. I got a new bookmark yesterday when I was at Barnes & Noble, too. Um, they had a, a whole table on zombies, zombie books and bookmarks and stuff like that. So I got a zombie bookmark. Um, I don't really care. It's called Fashion Zombies or something like that. And I don't really care for the dress this chick's got on. But the other zombie bookmark they had was like a uh, face of a zombie monster man. And it was just really like, I don't know. So this is it. And it's a magnet. It's a magnet one. So you, you know, open it up and... And the back's the same way. So I don't know. I think it's pretty neat. Except that dress. I just, I don't know. I don't have any zombie bookmarks, so. Alright, that said, I don't know what book I'm going to read yet. Um, I've been trying to go in alphabetical order when I go into my, like, paranormal books. Start with A and, you know, B, C, and I'm going to go that way. And then with my realistic fiction and stuff like that, I started at the end of the alphabet and I'm going backwards. Uh, just kind of mix it up a little bit. So the next one would be Bad Girls Don't Die, and then after that would be Beautiful Dead. But Beautiful Dead's been on my bookshelf for a long time, and I just got Bad Girls Don't Die, so I may read Beautiful Dead first. I don't know. but Oh, and I forgot to say, oh, my God, how could I forget? I won a contest. Oh, my gosh. Like, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, that was really stupid, but I'm just so excited. I would be, like, jumping up and down if I could. When I got the email, I was, like, jumping up and down. Well, in my head, I was jumping up and down because I was laying on my bed. From uh, Rachel from the Lady VLA. Uh, I believe I pronounced that right. Um, I don't win contests, so when I got her email, I was so excited, and I love her. She's awesome. Um, yay! So I get to pick out some books. Yay! Um, it was her birthday bonanza thing. Woohoo! So, yeah. Okay. I'm like smiling. My cheek's starting to hurt. I called my husband right away and was yelling in the phone and that. And so I'm really excited. So I just sent her, she told me to send her the names of three books. And she said, depending on the prices, I may get all three. But, you know, even getting one is awesome. So I sent the names of three of them. And, whew. So, yeah. Okay. Um, I think that's it. I'm very tired today. Very, very tired today. Uh, we went to the comedy club last night and just could not sleep in that hotel room. I just kept tossing and turning and waking up, and I'm so flipping tired today. I had yesterday off and today off. I go back to work tomorrow, and it doesn't even feel like I've been off. So, um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't know. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.